Fine. Tech Road here. Um, been a lot of grabbing of um, YouTube um, sites lately. Uh, after the, didn't really think much of it until the third YouTuber that I actually uh, am subscribed to was taken offline for over a month because the hacker got a hold of their um, Google sign-in account. So I thought that it's really need to sort of push this security angle if you are a creator on YouTube. So um, I'm just going to give a few hints on how to improve your security and secure your data. Um, so let's get into it. So um, the first thing you should do is to uh, you log in with your usual main account and um, then you should go to um, manage your Google account and, and then you should go to the section uh, keep your uh, we keep your account protected and here is actually a check uh, Google provides a checklist here um, if, if you do have a warning on any of these I suggest you go and read the um, contents and um, take actions to make it green but the most important one here to activate is the um, two-factor authentication. Um, it's actually relatively easy to um, to set up, and um, it's actually a sequence that will help you. And, and this, the exact details of how this works might vary from region to region. So the, the way that it, it works in um, in my region is that you can set it up to send you an SMS text message on your mobile phone each time you log in. Um, it's not too annoying actually because they don't do it for every single login. If you can, if you log in um, on on the same machine and in the same geographical location, it doesn't bug you with this two-factor authentication. Or if you use multiple browsers and it remembers who you are on the on a specific machine and geographic location, it, it, it will not bug you. But if you, for example, start traveling somewhere and go to another location, uh, then it will actually um, ask you to, um, to, it'll send you a code and ask you to verify the code. So I think that it's, it's not an unreasonable activity to have activated. Um, then an issue on um, passwords. I mean, I know lots of people don't like passwords, but um, they're a fact of life. and. Um, yeah, I have to give the usual instructions, like don't use the same password on many sites. And if you actually use, like this is budgetary, if you if you use a password less than eight characters, then you actually have to get into this, um, yeah, the, the sad story that you have to actually mix uh, letters in uppercase and lowercase, you have to put in numbers in the password, and it's you, know, you should include special characters. However, a, a, a new, well, a newer, but it's been around for a long time, but not, uh, maybe less used, is um, you could actually go for a password that's longer than eight characters, and you can use a so-called phrase-based password. And this is usually a very long password, but it's actually in a form that is easy for you personally to remember. Um, I, I'll give just a very brief example here like uh, I could I could use a password like my dog James 2020 underscore biscuit, biscuit underscore YouTube and this is basically a, a simple example it's you know, my dog what's the name of the dog what's the date of the day date of birth of the dog what snack does the dog like and what service is this password for so though that's the so-called phrase based password and I mean you can come up with you should come up with what is intuitive for you yourself um, and the longer the password is the more difficult it is for hackers to actually guess even if you're using quite obvious uh, like items here like what's the name you know what's the name of my dog you know, the, the, the birth date of my dog what, what treat the dog likes and, uh, but, but the, it's it's very much harder for their algorithms to hack a password that's like 30 characters long even if it contains pretty mundane information so I could suggest uh, you know less than eight characters, then you have to use these you know uppercase, lowercase numbers, and special characters. But if you make a nice long password like 30 characters, 
then you can actually use a phrase based um, so okay moving on so that, that that's not that difficult to do um, you know to to um, step uh, verification and then um, a reasonable password yeah and then you should um, also anybody who's cooperating with you and has access to the YouTube site with their with their um, login authentication you should actually require them also to apply the same um, security methods they should also activate two-step uh, authentication and also follow the guidelines on password creation so that you don't get backdoor hacked or you don't get social engineer like some a hacker hacks into a colleague's email address and then sends you a bogus email to get information from you to be able to then come into the site and, and, and do stuff so uh, I said yeah so I suggested you also enforce this on any partner who has access to your site okay a little bit about more one additional thing that I think is very good to do and um, maybe not so known is that you can actually back up all your data um, from the Google services so let's have a look at that so you go to privacy and personalization and you actually have to scroll down a lot and then here you have this function uh, download on um, your data and um, you, it, this is actually quite nice because this uh, gives you different options to configure this so you can um, uh, you can um, like set it up to take up to a maximum of four um, snapshots per year and send you an automatically a mail so that you can come and download the stuff uh, you can choose what services you want to download the data for, for so you can actually uncheck the stuff that you don't think is really relevant as you see, Google has. A, it's actually interesting because this list also shows you exactly what services Google runs. <laughs> um, so let's see if we have a look at manage exports. So you can just by create, uh, clicking on create new export, you can actually create an export on the fly, or you can um, set up a scheduled export. And then when it's done, it'll send you an email to a download link, or you can come into this control panel and then you can say download. So in this case, it was only created one um, download file. Uh, so then you get it. You you get it as one one zip file. And this is the information from my main account. Now the tricky part is that um, when you're in that um, export functionality, it is per account. So actually, when I was when I now was in the export file, it'll be exporting the data from here, from this um, account, not the actual account that I run my YouTube channel on. So if I want to get or export the data from my YouTube channel, then I actually have to switch to the tech rabbit and then go through the same procedure of exporting the, um, the data. And here you see, now I've got like, when I've exported, uh, done an export from my YouTube channel, then I, I get like, what was it, 202 zip files. So that's more in line with how many videos I have actually uploaded. So remember, you know, if you're exporting the data, it's not just that one zip file. If you only get one zip file on any kind of a uh, channel, then basically you're uh, you're exporting from the wrong account. So just remember that when you're doing when you're working with this. So anyway, yeah, that hopefully um, that's pretty much the the only thing you you need to take care of, and and then you have a much more secure setup. Um, so you 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 have um, secured your account, and you have um, uh, enabled yourself to take a complete snapshot of all the videos uh, or and other data metadata that you have created on Google. So if you are in a very bad situation and a hacker takes over your channel, and and in the worst case. Worst case scenario, YouTube deletes your channel with all the with all its contents. Then you actually even have the content personally. Or if you have to start up an emergency channel, 
then you all, you at least have the list of uh, you know all your all the produced videos uh, as video files on your own local disk. So then you can uh, you have a, a fighting chance of creating a backup channel and or moving it off YouTube onto some other alternative server. So anyway, I hope you found this informative. Uh, please consider subscribing if you did. Uh, from time to time, I make videos like this also. Um, merch is available. Um, or if you just want to buy me a cup of coffee, that would be also appreciated. The uh, links are in the comments. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. And um, safe YouTube.